Hello and welcome to the Pro Workflow X system for Photoshop, the best way to Photoshop ever. I'm your host Sid Vasandani and in this first video, I'm going to show you how to set up an ideal workspace for the Pro Workflow X panel inside Photoshop. Let's get started. Once you finish installing the panel, you can access it for the very first time inside Photoshop by going to Window, Extensions and select the Pro Workflow X. From this point on, you will always find the panel where you last placed it inside Photoshop and you can place the panel absolutely anywhere in your workspace. Before I tell you the ideal placement, let's go to the Photoshop Preferences and select Interface. Here, you can set the theme color to any one of these shades of grey. Most users prefer the darkest grey since it lets you focus much more on the image compared to the middle grey shades which are also fine but try to avoid the lightest grey it's just too bright for your eyes and not ideal for retouching. I'll keep the darkest grey color theme and click OK. One of the ways that you can set the workplace up especially if you're working on a desktop with a larger display is like this default one. In this workspace you can keep all the standard Photoshop panels on the extreme right and the Pro Workflow X panel next to it. While this can work for larger desktop screens, as you can see, for the laptop I'm recording on, this setup looks too tight. So here is an ideal setup for smaller or even larger screens for those who prefer a cleaner environment. Right next to the X panel is a collapsed tab group of layers and properties tab. You can add other tabs like history, action, brushes or tool preset but layers and properties are the tabs that you will need the most. The actions that come with the panel, you won't need them much after the initial setup. And same with the tool presets, the panel automatically selects them when required. So I'm going to close them for now. You can always access all of these tabs from the window menu. Next in line are the brushes. This creative brush set comes with a panel and includes retouching brushes like skin and hair, then environment brushes like rain, fog, snow and art brushes like calligraphy, chalk, acrylic paint to name a few. Up here is a set of basic brushes that you will need more than any other specialty brush. They don't come included with the panel but are available as a free download for everyone. The download link is mentioned right below the video in the description. Finally, I prefer having the color tab here as well to choose the color right after selecting the brush. Just remember the shortcut D on the keyboard to reset foreground and background color to the default black and white and use the X key to switch between them. The X shortcut is very useful when painting on a mask. So after you set it up the way you like, you can go ahead and click this icon and save the workspace. I'll call it Pro Workflow X and replace the old one. So now, even if you change the setup or mess up the arrangement, you can always go back and reset the workspace. I'm gonna show you one more tiny tweak I do. So let's go to Photoshop Preferences, Tools and make sure Overscroll is checked. Let me show you what this does. When you have your image open, you can pan or scroll the image beyond the bounding borders even when it's zoomed out. And if Overscroll was to be unchecked, you won't be able to pan the image, it just stays in the center. You can only pan it once you zoom in. So it's a much more flexible way to work with the Overscroll checked. Here is one final tip. To add a bit more real estate while working, press the F key once. This takes you to the full screen mode but with the menu tabs still showing. Press F again and you go to the actual full screen mode. Press F once again and you're back to the default standard screen. So this here is an ideal setup. Full screen mode with the tabs, auto collapsible layer and properties tab and the X panel docked to the right end. But wait, there's more. One most important part to any workflow is to memorize shortcuts. Photoshop has around 40 essential shortcuts, some simple and some pretty obscure 4K shortcuts. But thanks to the panel, we have reduced the number to 10 really simple ones. Let's take a look at them. First, press V on the keyboard for instantly accessing the move tool. Second, press C to instantly access the crop tool. You can hit escape to cancel or enter to apply the crop. Third. Press D for instantly accessing the text tool. Fourth, press D to reset the foreground and background colors and X to switch between them. Fifth, press Command T for free transform. Hit Escape to quit or enter to apply the transformation. Sixth, press Command D to deselect any selection or with any selection tool, you can simply right click and choose to deselect inverse, feather and so on. Seventh, press Command zero to fit the image on the screen. 8. Hold spacebar and drag around for panning your image. 9. 
hold command and spacebar and drag left or right to zoom in or out. And tent, hold control and option on a Mac and drag left or right to change the brush size and drag up or down to change the brush hardness. That's it for now. Enjoy the brushes and if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and a thumbs up if you found this video helpful. So until next time, happy retouching.